We can solve for the present value of the future value of an annuity in exactly the same way that we've done everything else. Because again, the distinguishing feature of an annuity is that the cash flows are all the same and that the cash flows do not go on forever, which is exactly like all the other problems that we've been working so far, right? So a loan is an annuity. All the investment problems that we've been looking at have been annuities. Um, and so we're gonna use the calculator to solve for annuities. As always, I wanna do the first one using the formula just so you get an idea of what's going on behind the scenes. Um, and so we have a problem that says, how much is the price of a house today if the payment on the mortgage is calculated to be $1,500 per month at a stated rate of 8%, which is gonna be compounded monthly over a 30 year period, okay? So we got a little bit to unpack here, but first let's just take a look at the formula. The formula for the present value of an annuity is equal to the payment times one minus one divided by one plus the rate raised to the number of periods, all of that divided by the rate. Okay. So now we can go and plug all that in. The payment is 1500 per month. And notice month means we need to convert everything else to a monthly period. So one minus one divided by one plus the rate per month, and our stated rate is 8%, so that's our APR. Convert that to months by dividing by 12. Raised to N, which is the number of periods, but we're given 30 years. So to convert 30 years into months, we multiply by 12. And then all of that divided by the monthly rate of 8% divided by 12. Now there's a lot of algebra to do there. As long as we get our algebra correctly, we will have solved the problem and the house, the present value of the house based on this mortgage payment is $204,425.24. Okay. Now, of course, we're not gonna do that uh, any more than this one example. That's a pretty uh, tedious formula to solve. There's a lot of algebra, uh, a lot of chances to make mistakes. We don't need to do any of that. Annuities are what the calculator is built to solve for. So we can use the calculator to solve for any kind of problems like this as long as the payments are the same. So for instance, how much is an annuity worth? And remember, annuities are a type of cash flow. So here, I mean, a type of, uh, uh, a description of a, of, of a type of cash flow. And so here I'm just saying some generic annu annuity, but anything can be an annuity as long as it has level cash flows that don't go on forever. Uh, so how much is some annuity worth today, present value, if it pays $675 a year for 15 years, assuming an interest rate of 7%? Okay, so we want the present value. We need to know the payment, the number of periods, the rate, and the future value. So the compounding period is a year. We uh, have years here and we have a stated rate in years. We don't have any information otherwise. So the compounding period is a year. It pays us 675 a year. So that's a cash inflow. So this is a positive $675 a year. It's gonna do so for 15 years and earn a rate of 7% per year. There's no future value because there's no lump sum that we might get at the end, right? Of course, we could incorporate that. This problem could say $675 a year for 15 years, and then at the end of the 15 year period, you also get $1,000. Then we'd have a future value. But we don't, so that's zero. Zero is the default, so it's not like we have to do anything there. We compute the present value of this problem, uh, and we get uh, 6,147.84, right? So this is what we'd be willing to pay in order to get the, uh, the investment, whatever the annuity is, that will then pay us $675 a year, right? So we'd be willing to give someone $6,000 now if they're willing to give us $675 a year for 15 years. And that, of course, right, has a total value of 10,125, right? So that difference is the time value of money. 
We'd be willing to give you this now if you're willing to give us all this later.